back with another video i'm so sorry i've been gone for like six months and i haven't uploaded i'm so sorry it's just i was still making art behind the scenes but i there was something that was happening that was stopping me from uploading and it was tragic so but i actually got it figured out so it's fine um but yeah let's let's just go ahead and dive right into this painting i'm so excited to show you guys this one Today I am going to be showing you guys the process of how I painted this oil painting. Um, it took me a little bit of time to paint it, maybe like, I would say like four to five days. I kind of had to stop in between here and there to let the paint dry and then like go back to work and then come back and fix it and work on it again. And you know, starting and stopping for me really kind of messes up the flow of things for me. So I, that's why I usually just pull all nighters and I try to do like my paintings in like three days without ever stopping because you get into like a state of flow, like they call it the flow state where you're just, you're on autopilot and you're just hauling butt and you're just painting and bringing the painting to life and you're so focused and you're in the zone and you're zenning out and it's just awesome. So I try not to interrupt that process once I get the f in that flow state. So, but I did have to stop obviously cause you know, the weekends aren't long enough, the days aren't long enough and you just get tired. So, <laughs> but yeah, um, I really tried to slow down uh, this painting a little bit cause and just really try to show the brush strokes that I do, you know, because a lot of people say, hey, could you slow the video down a little bit? It's going a little bit too fast. So I tried to slow it down for you guys so you could see how I do the brush strokes and how I fill in her face. I did have a little bit of fast forwarding in there because it was just, I could not help it. Like I, there were parts where my hand was in the way or I was going really, really slow on a part. So I had to just kind of speed it up a little bit. But I did try to slow it down for some of you guys that were asking, so... I hope you guys appreciate that. Um, oh yeah, by the way, just give go ahead and give this video a like, please. I would appreciate it because <laughs> I spent a long time editing this. Um, but yeah, I love this painting. It's so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. There was something about the environment that she was in. Like the way her gaze is, the colors. So it's almost like it's a cold winter night and she's looking into your eyes deeply and she's enchanted by you like she has a secret to tell but she she's mysterious and i almost get i don't know just something about her she's so amazing and just like how do you describe it like you it's something that you have to look at 
like you can't even describe it into words <laughs> that's how beautiful and how powerful i think photography and lighting can really change and really set the tone for what you're going to be painting or what you're going to be looking at and it tells the viewer something too it's like it encompasses all these beautiful elements and it's just wonderful it's like well done well done i love it and i know i said i was gonna take a little bit of a break from portraits but i mean i was gone for like six months so i i had to come back with another portrait and just you know say hi again <laughs> Um, but I do want to branch out and, you know, paint other things, obviously. Um, yeah, just paint, like, different things. I think it's important to broaden your horizons. I mean, if you could paint a face, then you can literally paint anything. So, you know, the possibilities are endless at that point. Um, yeah, I just, I love it so much. Um, painting is really therapeutic for me. Um, it's just, it really is. It's it's my therapy, and it kind of takes me away from my phone. It takes me away from just thinking about the world and just all the craziness that's going on. And you can just zen out and just vibe, and it's just a great time. I recommend anybody to get into oil painting or painting in general. One thing I noticed about this painting was I really made, like, her glow a little bit. It was, like, weird, but I think I think what that had to do with is, like, the oil paint itself because oil paint is like you're painting in like really thin layers so especially your your cads like your red your red tones are very transparent so that deep skin tone that you guys see me make um it's like a mixture between mars black um alizarin crimson i don't even know if i'm saying that right um titanium white and prussian blue is what i used and it was and I, I think I also use burnt umber as well. But a lot of the red oil painting colors are very transparent. And the more and more that you build the layers up, you really start to start to build depth without even realizing it. And you start to, I don't know what, I, I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the titanium white that makes it glow. Like, I don't, it's just amazing. And it feels like you can come into her world and like walk around and like be in her environment it's just so much fun like I really I can't get that kind of effect with any other medium that I've tried you know I started off with using acrylic paint in the past but I think I just there's something magical about oil paints and I feel like that's why they're just they're like the OGs kind of <laughs> like I don't know but they're great I love them so much there was a point in the painting where I did uh, stop and I showed you guys that I was stopping and I had to come back after a few days of letting it dry. Um, and then I, I just went over with like a light brush and I started feathering it out and just getting the dust off of it so I could, you know, do the next layers and get it ready for more painting basically. And yeah, and I started painting the background. I did use a combination of acrylic paint in this painting. I did not want to, but acrylic paint really helps me just kind of speed the process along a little bit more. So if I'm like waiting for the first layer to dry, I don't really have to wait really because if I'm using acrylic paint, I can just do like a, a nice light wash over it and just be done with it and just blow dry it with a hair dryer and then just start keep on painting. So that's why I like acrylic paint. It just helps me speed, it, speed up the process. A little bit better um but then i have to use oils for the rest of it because i feel like sometimes acrylic paint can be really uh kind of dull and a little bit i don't know kind of i don't i don't know how to describe it i'm just gonna stop talking about ac acrylic paint like that's the only time i used it was like for like the under under layers <laughs> and her scarf and you'll see that coming up soon um it's so funny when i start painting the teeth I, 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 keep, I keep thinking about Al Payefe and how he was talking about, oh, um, don't ever paint teeth, just, just imply teeth, don't actually paint them individually, like, don't paint the individual, like, teeth, <laughs> and, like, that's so funny to me, I'm like, oh my god, I wonder what, if Al Payefe ever saw, like, my painting, I wonder what he would say, like, oh my god, she painted teeth, like, uh, like, do they look like beaver teeth, like, how do you feel, like, let me know, <laughs> But no, I think they turned out okay. I think they turned out okay. So I let her um, face dry for a couple days. And now I'm just gonna go in with like a nice little light 
background color because it's not a good idea to just paint the kind of yellow that I'm gonna paint on this um, and make it washed out and I may end up painting the wrong color. So I'm going to paint the background first and see how that color takes. I'm gonna paint the background with like a light wash of acrylics with like a gray, I'm thinking gray. Yeah, there was a point where I went in there and I was like doing little stippling effects for the bridge of her nose and just really trying to um, make the texture of skin. This painting had a lot of texture on it, um, obviously. It's a human being, like when you're taking like a, a high photography photo, you're gonna get some pores in it. So I was trying to uh, mimic that those pore techniques by, you know, using like a small pointed brush and trying to do those dots myself. Um, I obviously I can't do every single one of them, but. I mean, there are a lot of oil painters that do hyperrealism and they paint like every single pore and every single strand of hair on a portrait, but. On the scale that I painted this at, I probably wouldn't be able to create that effect because it's a, such a small painting. So painting the silk part, um, her silk scarf, that was kind of a challenge because I feel like um, I didn't really film that very well. There's a lot of glare on the painting and I do apologize for that. It was kind of hard to see and I just kind of cut a lot of that footage out because it, it just wasn't good enough. Um, so I'm trying to find better ways to film myself paint, but it's just, it's not working out, honestly. <laughs> One of the things is like painting your backgrounds really helps you know your eyes to adjust to what's going on so i did that i did do her scarf with a wash of acrylic paint to just figure it out and just move on with that part and then from the rest on it was just there it was like what else can i say <laughs> um when you're painting like fabric and stuff i noticed like you put two colors next to each other you put like a mid-tone a highlight and a, a dark value and you just kind of like blend them softly together. And that's how you create like texture and like fabric. And that highlight is the most important part. But also you don't want to create too much detail. And you don't want to, you want to make it soft. You want to make it subtle. That's the one thing about realism that's kind of tricky for the human brain. Because you want to draw like a line and there is no line there. So yeah, it's 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 a lot you know just just do your thing if anybody is like trying to learn how to paint just just take your time and just enjoy the process i would say um definitely for me too i have to try to slow down and not try to rush myself because it'll get done eventually just you just have to go with it so one thing i have to note about this painting is like the extreme color shift like I know as you guys see me painting the face, it looks purple. Like her skin looks like straight up Barney, like straight up purple. And I was using a lot of purple, but not that much. And it was weird because once I started adding in, okay, I think once her face was completed and I started adding the background in, it was, it's just like weird. I think, I think it actually was when I started adding the headscarf in. I just noticed like this extreme color shift, like her skin deepened. It's almost like the paint oxidized. Like, I don't know, maybe it oxidized. I have no idea. But there was an extreme color shift. Like her skin was no longer purple anymore. Or maybe it was my lighting that was just like illuminating the painting too much where it was just showing like all the colors but at the end you can obviously see that it's not purple and that it's like a rich deep skin tone so it's kind of even tricky to let people know it's like um how did you get that skin color and it's like um i got it by <laughs> mixing almost like a purplish kind of undertone like what like i don't know how to explain I think once I encompassed all the different elements, like the background, her headscarf, and everything like came together, like you could really see that it actually isn't as bright of a purple that I thought it was. It was more just like it was it was dark enough and adding all the other elements on top of it ended up bringing it together in cohesiveness. And that can be really, really difficult to teach, especially like color theory and all that stuff. I have no idea anything about that. Um, it just kind of came with practice over time for me. So I, I, I don't even know how to explain what happened. But I know a lot of people are going to be like, um, why is your skin purple? And I'm going to be like, um, 
question mark scratching my head like a girl i don't know either <laughs> Yeah, but I'm like 90% sure that it had to do with like the lighting and just not having added the other elements in there. So that's probably what it was. It's probably not this big mystery that I think it is. Well, anywho, I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of this video without me interrupting anymore. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to read the description section for all other important little details and anything that you guys need to find. I will leave everything in the description box below and please remember to give it a like and I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the comments. <laughs>